Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can handle time zone for users which is located in different time zone. Say if your user is accessing your web application in, from India, all the time information uh, should be uh, should be from their time zone. Okay, so if uh, uh, your uh, website is uh, accessing from any other countries, say US. Uh, the all the time information should be from uh, it should be related to the time zone of uh, the uh, user from USA okay so how you can handle that I'll show you a simple example how you can handle this so this is my uh, gmail id as you can see here uh, the uh, there it shows uh, the time when the email was received to my inbox okay so here it is uh, 4 13 pm so right now I'm in Qatar so uh, this time should be according to the time zone of Qatar for example if I am in India this will not be 4 13 pm it will be that uh, uh, it will be based on the time uh, of India okay so I'm going to show you how we can manage this okay so I have my exam server installed in my PC I'll be show uh, I'll be demonstrating this example uh, with uh, the exam server and uh, uh, so I have installed it in C drive exam folder and inside the XD docs we will be keeping our PHP files okay I have just started the server now let's go to our browser and if I'm just uh, open localhost you can see there is nothing I mean uh, we should create the first uh, the index page okay so let me create an index page now so let it be index.php So let me open in my notepad plus plus where I will write the code okay so if I'm just writing my name save it and if I'm just going to localhost if I'm just refreshing my name is pending which means uh, the server is running and uh, everything is perfect okay now now I'm going to print the current uh, date and time in my page first now to print my current date and time I can use the date function like this and you can uh, specify what all you need so I'm going to uh, I need year month date and hour uh, minute and seconds okay so this is how you can specify year date uh, year month date and hour uh, minute and seconds okay so going to back to our page if I'm just refresh you can see uh, the current date is get current date and time is getting print okay but uh, now it's uh, showing as 1748 but I, I don't know the uh, time format or a time zone of that in my PC it's only uh, it's 7 p.m. now but here it's only uh, 6 p.m. right yeah 6 p.m. so as uh, I'm using exam server uh the time zone will be in the php.ini file here so you can go to php.ini this one okay if i'm just opening that and just searching the time zone you can see uh, the time zone is euro uh, from europe berlin okay so i'm just uh googling the time of the time now you can see it will be 5 49 pm okay it's uh printing here 5 49 pm okay but my current time is 6 49 pm and uh, this uh this is my uh, offset okay gmt offset okay as uh, i told i'm in uh, qatar my time zone i'm going to show you all the available time zone in php so just search php time zones okay time zone so it will give you the list of all available time zone uh, which we can use okay so i am currently in asia and i am in qatar okay so this is my current time zone okay so i am going to print uh, the time uh, of uh, this time zone of asia qatar okay so for for that what you have to do is just go to your index page and I'm not going to update here okay if I update here it will be okay but I'm going to set it manually uh, from the front end okay set uh, the default time zone you can use this function date default time zone set okay so inside this you have to pass uh, the time zone okay so I'm going to pass this time zone and uh, paste it here like this okay 
now this time will be printed as uh, the time zone of Asia Qatar okay let's try let's go to the local host page and from just refreshing you can see it's uh, 658 it is the correct time of uh, you can see my current time is uh, 658 p.m. okay so this is how uh, you can uh, get uh, the time zone a uh, time printer of different time zone you can, if you use any of these time zone it will pre uh, print and show the time of uh, that specific uh, location or uh, that specific uh, time zone okay now now for example uh, as i told in my gmail uh, someone uh, sent me a 5 p uh, a mail in 5 pm uh, in uh, Qatar time uh, but it will be uh, around uh, 7 30 p.m. in Indian time so how you will manage this okay so there should be a central common time which can be applicable to all countries or all time zone okay such a time zone is known as UTC time zone or uh, UTC time zone or GMT time zone okay so I'm just searching UTC time now or, or, or GMT time now you can see UTC time now or uh, GMT time now you can see it's a central uh, time which means co uh, the full form is a coordinated universal time okay or green which uh, mean time okay so every time zone uh, every time zone for example uh, as I told Asia Qatar time zone is having an offset or uh, with uh, the GMT time zone okay so I will show you the offset example if I'm going to adjust date and time in my PC so this is you can see the UTC offset for all uh, that locations uh, available in uh, here okay now if you have uh, the UTC offset uh, of uh, the user or the time zone of the user and uh, the uh, UTC time zone or UTC time you will get the current time of uh, the user okay so this is how uh, uh, centrally you can manage the time zone of uh, uh, one uh, t time zone I in in your web application or uh, in your website okay so i'll show you a simple example uh, i have uh, just updated the code to show uh, the time zone the uh, times in two different time zones so this will be the utc time zone and uh, this is the asia qatar time zone okay so if i'm just refreshing you can see this is the utc time zone and this is the asia qatar times 4 24 pm and 7 24 pm okay now let me go to my mysql database so this is my mysql database and this is just uh, like work the mysql workbench this is a uh, ui representation of uh, your data in the table okay i have a database named test and say this there is the there is a table named student and these are the data of that okay so this uh, is a simple table uh, with the name grade and address and uh, when that was added on to uh, the uh, database okay so uh, this uh, actually I have uh, saved in UTC format and now if uh, the user is in from different location or different time zone or different countries uh, the time should be shown uh, according to their time zone okay so I'm going to show you how you can manage that okay now uh, let me go to show this into my front end into this page so I should have a DB connection class and uh, a iterator uh, to show all these information in the front end okay so let me write the code for that and uh, I will explain how you can uh, do that okay
Yes, uh, I have just updated the index uh, PHP with um, the code to take the data from this database and show it in index.php file. So I have another video of uh, how to set up a simple CID application. I have just copy pasted the code from there. So you can go to my website and uh, see this uh, for more information how to get the in uh, data from database into the front end. Okay. Now I have uh, a DB config file and index.php. Okay. So from the index php i'm calling uh, the database connectivity here and just iterating all the data uh, to be shown on the front end page okay now let's go to localhost page if i'm just refreshing it should show me all the data uh, from the database as it is what you have given in that okay now uh, you can see that uh, uh, it is showing the utc time uh, but I, I want to get uh, the time uh, of uh, when it was posted uh, according to the time zone of the user okay so i'm going to manage that here first uh, we want to uh, make this into uh, make the received time into uh, utc time so i'm creating a new variable date and first convert that into utc tc time like this a date time and inside that you have to specify two uh, inputs the first one is uh, the one which we you have received the added on time and second one is uh, the time format okay date time zone date time zone and specify it in UTC so by this line of code we have declared uh, this added on time is in utc okay so uh, i will create a more column which is a utc time and uh, let it be local time okay local time now to convert uh, this into the local time what you have to do is you have to set the local time format here so i'm going to set the local time format like this set time zone and set that you have to set the local time zone okay so the local time zone here we are assuming as uh, asia qatar time and paste it here okay and now now uh, just print the date in uh, the specified format the format uh, in the format in the database we have uh, saved is in in the 24 hours format yes so let me copy this and convert that into the 24 hour format like this okay so it's in 24 hour format yes I believe uh, this will work okay just saved it I'm going to localhost and if I'm just refreshing uh, yes we missed something we missed because we have not uh, specified uh, it as uh, a column so it should be PD and the starting and PD at the end like this yes now it will be inside the table yes you can see so this is 2019 uh, 9 10 in utc time but in the local time or in qatar time it is 12 10 okay so a uh, same way uh, this is in uh, 1714 uh, which means uh, 2014 in qatar local time okay now we we hard coded the time zone of uh, here as uh, asia qatar but uh, it won't be the same. we want the time zone of uh, the user from where the user is actually logging so it will be a dynamic value so how you will get the the time zone of the user okay so i'll show you how there are various methods uh, which you can get uh, the time zone of the user the best one is uh, by using the public ip of uh, the user okay so i have uh, another in my website i have another document for that how to get uh, the location details of the user okay see here 
PhD get uh, IP address location details you can just log in uh, check this how you can get it okay I have uh, explained step by step how you can get it here okay so I am just uh, copy pasting that in, in our page uh, which will uh, give you the time zone of the user okay so I have just updated the code a uh, little bit so actually I was I taken the code from my website uh, chinojawad.com and get ip details so here it is the link okay so i have explained how you can get all the details uh, in this video so yes i'll explain okay first uh, we are taking the ip address now currently i have hard coded because this code uh, will take uh, uh, the ip address uh, dynamically but it won't work in local host okay so i just for my working in local host i uh, just hard coded my ip address currently and i have my apa key so this is a third party apa to get the ip address information so this is the account ipinfodb.com so just it's a free of course you can use it and uh, just register you will get the apa key okay so update uh, the apa key here and uh, this is the uh, url to uh, get the response for of uh, your information uh, the ip address information so this is the url which we are trying to uh, access here okay so once uh, you get the response uh, the last value here is uh, the offset or uh, the time zone offset of your current ip address or current location okay so i, I just uh, accessed here that one and i'm just printing okay this is the current offset and now this code snippet will convert this offset into uh, the time zone name okay uh, so once we got the time zone name we are just uh, using this time zone name to convert uh, the value from uh, the database uh, so this is in U uh, utc format so uh, from utc format and we are converting into the dynamic uh, time zone of the user okay now uh, after that it's just printing okay now let's let's try this i have just saved everything let's try this so i'm going to localhost and it's an index page so just press enter and you can see the information has been fetched okay so this is hard coded i mean uh, uh, this is a uh, time showing from the hard coded information of uh, the time zone so the next thing which we are getting is uh, the time zone offset okay so the time zone offset of mine is plus three okay so time zone of user is uh, written as this one but it's same as if the offset is correct whatever is uh, and the name coming uh, it, it won't uh, bother anywhere okay so once we got this is the time zone we are just converting here the the utc to that time zone and print then print in the values okay so hope you got this uh, all the steps first we uh, so uh, we saved the, the value in UTC format and based on the IP address of the user we are taking the offset of uh, the user and uh, printing the time according to that user okay so this is how you can manage uh, the time zone of uh, uh, this is how you can manage uh, the times or uh, in your web application where the user is accessing from different location okay so i will host this in my website so you can yourself check all the information is correct or not okay so yes uh, i have hosted uh, this page uh, into a uh, into my website technobuddy.com so so you are just going to this link it will show you your ip address your country your all in the information and your offset and offset name and based on this offset time uh, this will be different okay you can try it yourself uh, you might be accessing seeing this uh, video from different location uh, different country so yours will be different okay so just to confirm this is my public ip just uh, i'm going to google and that's so this is my public ip okay so this is not the hard coded one okay so this is taken dynamically from uh, as a user said from you uh, you and this is your ip address and this is your offset and this is your time zone and based on this time zone this local time is uh, showing here okay so hope you got this how to manage uh, the 
time uh, in your web application okay so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i will try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching